agenda is um, District City Council Salah Matina. And um, because this agenda was so thin, and so um, we had to change some things around. You know, it's just basically um, an open discussion with the council. If you have any questions about what you guys going on, I'm sure you have some things to say to you guys. But um, it's also my boss, so be good. <laughs> Uh, first, let me uh, thank you all for the work that you're doing. You know, I know it's not easy uh, to make decisions like you just did today. Um, those are the decisions that I take back to say no. And that ordinance on the segue, no offense to the owners, is something that I work on as my ordinance for this neighborhood. And um, I won't be supporting anyone to the board. But um, I want to be come here tonight just to say thank you and also say that uh, I think last year we had a nice year in the North End in regards to some of the work that uh, I'm doing at City Hall, working with the neighborhood. We pass on that nuisance control ordinance. You know, something that um, from the complaints and concerns I heard here in this neighborhood. Um, as you know, we started a problem property task force probably about five years ago, working with Beacon Hill and um, North End, Suffolk University, I understand, police, um, ISD, to address some of the issues, uh, particularly the party issues, the noise, and some issues with the students. And, um, and we have worked, and we tried to work with the landlords at the time and, um, to deal with some of those complaints. And they haven't been really responsible. So as you heard over the past weekend, I think at 28 police street we had an incident. And I'm hoping that my audience will work in regards to that issue where that tenant will be fined um, $100 for this person's offense. And then we will have them on the list. And one thing I have to say, I worked with uh, Captain Lee, and I think he was here last month, Captain Lee. Mm -hmm. We are very fortunate to have Captain Lee. I think he is a great, great captain. Captain. Very, very responsive um, to this neighborhood. I've been here for six years and um, he's a man in his work. When he said he's going to put police out there on Thursdays, uh, Sunday he's out there with the police. I see him, they're tagging vehicles, resident bodies, things. Um, so if you heard Davis report, the violations have, um, he's issuing violations. But um, the noise control audits, I'm hoping it's going to work. When we get the landlords involved, uh, we will send a letter to that landlord. The second time there was a, a call to that property where he will be notified. Um, and then that particular tenant will get a $300 fine for the second offense. And then we'll take the property into housing court. The owner. So that's something that we did work with the neighborhood. Um, very, very happy about the expansion of the Delia School. George, thank you for the work that you do. I know you do a fundraiser for them. Um, we're expanding the LA school. We're going to have more seats for the neighborhood. Tonight, at the school committee, they're going to actually be voting on uh, a new assignment plan, which I think really benefits the neighborhood, particularly from up then where um, there's a couple of plans. One is zones. Uh, another one is based on your address. I think both of them work because I think one zone is key for child's town. Zone. Okay, East Boston is one zone. Um, there are a lot of students from my neighborhood. They go to the other school. They should be in East Boston. So there's more seats open for the kids that live in this neighborhood. Um, very happy that we made um, hazmat. We had some restrictions working with the neighborhood. So that's happening. Um, resident parking. I know that this community is working on the resident parking to try to get some more sewer parking and stuff in resident parking um, stickers where they'll be exempt. Uh, we have been working with the transportation department. Um, unfortunately, we did hit a glitch with uh, a staff person who had that plan, who is no longer with the transportation department. Um, this spring, we'll be out there to get some more of those uh, the new signage up there. Um, something that I wanted, we worked on this year. For the year was um, Cross Street uh, between Handover and Salem Street, where people were parking, and we stopped 
what they were talking there. I personally think it's working. Um, what I want to do now is we need to come up with a plan for what we can do in that space. Um, so I'll be in the next couple of months working with uh, DLT. Hopefully we've been able to come up with some ideas what we could do there temporarily at that location. I think it's a perfect location to do something. I don't know if it's putting some seats out there or chairs. Uh, some kind of activity, I think, is warranted for that location. Tomorrow at 6 o'clock, we're having a meeting on uh, Bartlett Place. The city's going to submit a plan of public works. Uh, there's some space there. Years ago, when I was working with um, some of the businesses from Salem Street, work with um, the Department of Neighborhood Development, we looked at that space that it could maybe be a nice place where a little pocket park. Uh, we did have a meeting with a few months ago, but the abutters did not want to park, in, park at that location. So we're coming up with a plan tomorrow. There'll be some trees, some violence, and a place where um, people park their bikes. There's a lot of bikes in the neighborhood. I get a lot of complaints a lot of, from people calling about people chaining their bikes on signs and poles. So hopefully, I think that might be the 28th. I'm sorry to interrupt. That's Thursday, Sal. That is means Thursday, Thursday oh, here Thursday. Is six, Thursday? 6.30 here. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. yeah, so I think it's a, it's a great plan. Um, it's going to clean up the place. And, um, and also for young people to be able to put their uh, store their bikes there, their bikes there. Um, what else are we working on? I'm also working with um, the commissioner. We're doing uh, Salem Street this spring. We're going to be repaving Salem Street. So I'm hoping to get some new lighting on Salem Street. Um, as you are, um, we have the incline lights on, on uh, Hanover Street. So we have Frank, I don't know if you know about this, but um, so I'm negotiating, uh, negotiating with the commissioner uh, to put some econ lights on Salem Street. I think it's a perfect street at those lights uh, right now. Uh, there's some sections of Salem Street that's really dark. So we're going to be fixing sidewalks, new roadway, and uh, opening the lighting over there. Um, very excited working with Ruff now that they're in the law and they, uh, they want to get involved and help to address some issues that we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, where they're responsible for the office. And I went to one of the meetings and some people came to, to uh, kind of voice their opinion, both dogs and in the knock that hopefully this is the right direction where there's a group trying to um, make dog owners aware of some issues that you uh, talk to your neighbors all and deal with things like that. And finally, um, I want to thank this committee, uh, David, thank you, Matt, for the survey. And that's why uh, Frank O'Brien is here to talk about trash and cleanliness within the Bay. An issue that I've been working on, as you know, probably since I started. So uh, expand clean, uh, street cleaning, we did that. And I know it was tough for some people when we first proposed that. But I want to say it made a big difference in two years. I think this year will be the second year. And last year was the first year that we expanded uh, street cleaning. We were fortunate last year we didn't have snow. This year we do have some snow, so we probably will um, delay street cleaning depending on how much snow. But it's a conversation that we still have with the transportation department and the uh, public works department. Um, I think it might be a good opportunity to clear up snow if you move the cars. So, um, and talking about snow, we survived the blizzard of 2013. Um, I, have, I was in North End on that Sunday. I got less complaints from this neighborhood than uh, the rest of my district, believe it or not. Um, I want to commend the Public Works um, Department in North End. I think they worked hard. Um, we will be having a hearing at City Hall, my committee, to really look at um, the snow problem and how we remove, remove snow in the city. Um, and I get it. We move the cars off the hand over the street, and, and we want to get the problems to occur. And that's an issue not only in the North End, but a lot of other neighborhoods. So we will have a hearing in the City Council probably early April, and you're invited to uh, attend. But I'm here today with Frank to 
go over the survey with you and see how we can work together to uh, improve how we clean them up that, how we deal with trash. I think that we have made a lot of progress, but we're definitely not there yet. Um, I personally think that three days, and this is my only view, I think three days having kind of trash on the street, we have trash out there too much. Put trash out on Sunday for a Monday pickup, Tuesday for a Wednesday pickup, Wednesday and Thursday for a Friday pickup. So trash is out there six days. We have 100 restaurants, so we have a lot of trash in the streets. Willing to work with you on this issue. It's um, near and dear for you to um, address it. And we have, I think, made some big progress. There's some ideas I have. One of them is um, a city bag where owners will have a choice. You either put your trash out in a battle, or you put your trash out in the city stamp. Maybe a sale, they're doing it in uh, Chelsea, and they're doing it in Revere. So uh, I can tell you that Jay Ash, he's a manager of uh, the city of Chelsea, and uh, he's put a report together, I hope we get that report. And he's been monitoring himself. It's a big issue for him. So if they can do it in Chelsea, we can do it here in Boston. With that, um, I would love to uh, have a couple of issues that we should work on for this year. So if you have any suggestions, I'd be glad to uh, take them and hopefully work with you to uh, make them out like there a better place to live all Any um, questions or concerns? Anyone on the council have any questions? And then we'll kind of open up the uh, okay. right. On the issue of garbage collection, uh, one of the things that uh, you know, I've been looking at, I can walk around late at night a lot since I run a restaurant. And uh, I've been doing some comparisons, you know, on, 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 on two facts. One of them being uh, the, the business relationship that the businesses in the community have with their uh, disposal providers mm -hmm. who are taking that garbage away. And the demands that we put on them, uh, none of us would allow, none of, no one in the business community would allow the uh, garbage collector to leave half the garbage on the street. And nor would the city allow us to have garbage collectors to let the garbage out and have on the street. You know? So one of the reasons that you know, many people in the community, including myself, some who own businesses and some who are observative, feel is that the city could do a much better job at managing the contractor and expecting from the contractor what anybody else would expect for a contractor providing a service. So if part of the issue we have is that there is a lot of garbage out there. We have two problems. We have the folks who put the garbage out, we have the folks who are collecting the garbage. Mm -hmm. The folks who put the garbage out are not putting it out properly, and the guys are collecting the garbage and not doing a good job. You know, if you collect the garbage and you're not putting it behind, you haven't collected those, all the garbage that was there. So that, that's a big issue, yeah. I think. I also, cost, uh, we're talking about cost of, uh, of per individual business owner, a, a build, building owner, but we're paying taxes, we're paying much higher taxes, we're paying much higher taxes, repeatedly, year after year. The services are not improving, not getting better. On garbage collection alone, if you do the math and you calculate, knowing how much uh, we pay to have the commercially picked up garbage seven days a week, uh, the cost is not that high. So it's something that can be worked out. You know? The other part of the issue that I find that the city has made no effort on is education. We have signs to tell you when you're going to get a parking ticket or not. And that same totem pole that you wish to have a sign that says when you can get the garbage out, you know, what the ticket for it is. Yeah. So I think I think we did some of that. Can we do a mural next spring? We did the last one. Yeah, but yeah. we need what we need is actual signs on yeah. the street. So when the person comes out with a garbage bag, walks yeah. out to the door and looks at the sign, oops, not today. So George, I, 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 I worked in the, in the sign shop for many years. Um, we have a lot of signs up there. And what happens is we put signs out there. I mean, you can't, how many signs are put out there? People should, there's some landlord's responsibility. No, 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 but so, you know what? Yeah, I understand, but they uh, should. I don't, I don't want to interrupt, yeah. I don't want to include yeah. it. It is yeah. a landlord's responsibility. Yeah. But yeah. Who, who manages the landlord? You know, and, and who, you know, I mean, we, we pay for service. I mean, and I think that educating public on that service would be a public. You're educating the fact that you're going to give you a parking ticket, but you're only educating on the fact that you're going to give you a final uh, garbage ticket. All the garbage you're not even going to take away is, you know, they're open. So what I'm saying here is, you talk about how do we come up with a solution. I'm with you. I think we need cleaner streets. We need to have it done in a different fashion. I don't share the point of view that 
the, the street sweepers are going to go. I think that we need both. We need less street sweepers with machines. We need a mix. We need guys on foot one week, guys on machines the next week. But we also need the contractor, the person who's charging us top dollar to provide yeah. us with a service, to roll up their sleeve and figure out how they can provide us with a better service instead of always throwing the ball at us and telling us, guys, do a survey. We have 350 people join, uh, sign up for the survey. Yeah. You know, so there's thousands of people. Here's what I would suggest, though. Here's what I would suggest. And particularly if you if you see a garbage truck that is stolen the garbage on the street, you should definitely report. You should call the 2500 report or call my office. I think we're taking all the time. I see it. I see it. But if you see it, all you say to if you see it, I want you to report it because this way we have a record of it and public works will get it. So this way, if a contractor is going, I guess they're up in 2014. I don't know when this contract is up, up, but they would have that on notice. They listen, get all these complaints. So I tell people, listen, if you see it, report it. Please feel free to call my office. I will definitely send public out there to. But the issue here too. I know. If you walk around the neighborhood, yep. we're going to need to make you yep. your phone call because the garbage is on the floor. Yep. Right. So you know, yeah. you know, and, and, and that's the issue. The issue here, the problem that we can have about this is. This not a match. Yeah. It's not a sport. Right, so we will lose you. But the, the, the reason here is how do we work together yeah. to solve this? Yeah. You know I mean? And you guys don't have to do additional things to what you're doing to solve it because yeah. what you're doing is not working. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, and that's an issue that I mean, Frank's here to talk about that. Um, the commissioner is well aware of it. She has looked at the survey. Um, she has some ideas and hopefully to address some issues. Do we have any non-public yeah, works questions for saying to sell and then when something Frank gets well, up here? Now would be a good time during the meeting to just kind of give a highlight of some of the emerging patterns and themes I saw and going through all the sure. comments to the survey. Yeah. That would help. And I put together a packet for every member of the council and for Frank and next yeah. for being here. Can you hold on one second? Sure. Does anyone have any other question for council on our team about anything? About anything? <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. Uh, I, I just wasn't sure that it, it has to go one way. It, there's other options. First of all, there was no uh, question in the survey to say, what about trash pickup at 8 to 9 a.m.? And you have to put it out in the morning. Forget this night thing. It's not going to be. It, it just doesn't work. The grants are, are loving it. We worked on our committee for three years, the Clean Streets Committee, and Frank can tell you because he knows me. Not just sure if he likes me. But, he <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a losing battle. If they're going to continue and sell, you know what, the garbage is out there seven, eight nights a week. It's not just <coughs> those three nights. People just don't care. I'm tired of fighting with people. It's awful. I walk around, I put that and then bags when back the, and all uh, the you guys pick it up, I'm very sorry. Say it rained that night or that morning. There's garbage all over the place. And if they pick up a bag of a box and throw it in that truck and it falls on the ground, whose responsibility is it? They have responsibility. But they don't they don't well, they should bend. I have right. gone out with my pajamas and have to go pick up something and walk to the truck and go. So and, and that's why I think that it's something that I want to look at. What they're doing choice. Chelsea, what they're doing right there, is that you have one set of bags. Yeah. So in our repair, my understanding, you have a choice to use a barrel, or if they have these rodent proof bags, they kind of... Yeah, you collect them on yeah. the and they, mint, Yeah, and they have a mint. The mint. So they're doing that repair, and that's so it. It's like they don't then, put it out in the right So I think that, I think it will, I hope it works. I think you have a choice. You put your trash all in a barrel, or a city bag, so everyone has the same bag. Right? Yes, and the problem that we have here yeah. is people exactly. putting their bags out still, Shaw's, uh, CVS. Mm -hmm. If you're right, if they put it all in a, a box and it gets wet, yeah, they break. Yeah, so that's why I think a plastic bag. So listen, I think it's something, I, and I need your support on something like this. I really do. Because I think if you have orange bags, everyone has to put out their bags and 
cabbage and orange bags, it might work. In Chelsea, they have fluorescent orange. And I don't know they have. They no, they, yes. the texture is just, it's a little, it's a little thicker. Yeah. I, wish we, I wish we had And they it. sell them at local stores, and maybe it will help get visits in your store. Yeah. The kids are going to buy those bags. Yeah. Well, they listen, but, but here's the school. You're right. But if they don't buy it, the landlord doesn't buy it, we're not going to pick up your trash. No, but you, you have, the landlord will get fined. So we're going to do something. Right. All right, so we have to listen. It's just coming up with some ideas. You know what I mean? So, but the ideas yes. are always on the consumer, on the taxpayer. Yeah. When are the ideas going to be, guys? Yeah. Like the, for example, today we. Okay? Has anybody in the north then lived with a neighbor who doesn't take their garbage out, guys? What does it smell like? I have them. I have them next door to my house. I'm. I'm going to call the police, thinking that somebody's dead in the basement. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't work either. What works is educating the folks that are putting the garbage once and for all through maybe garbage bags, some signage. We need signage. We pay we all, all, all landlords pay taxes. You get a tax bill. The tax bill should come with a post that you get a post in your building telling you when the garbage picks up. We all got to become proactive. Yeah, but agree. we also need the city to become proactive. Yeah. And we need you guys to say, hey, this contractor might not be working for us. We need the next one. Or we can demand more of this contract because it's a puzzle. We need all the pieces of the puzzle to be on the table to put it together. If not, we're not going to make it. You're right. And it's something I learned as a kid. We all give, all gain. Exactly. And we all get to give. All of us have to give. Exactly. Well, but so we gain. To... And I want to say that, and, and George, I know you disagree with me. All right? But when I worked with the Clean Street Committee, we did expand the street for me in the North End. And the North End is much cleaner today. And you might disagree with me. But, but I, mean, I can tell you, in December, most when I'm walking, all right, but in December, in December, but I'm just saying that, we're looking at Solvenate, so yeah. we're not going to solve it, we're going to solve it, that's the work, because if you did, if you did work, yeah. we wouldn't solve it, you wouldn't be planning on solving it, yeah. so we're going to solve it, 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 we are going to solve it 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 we are going